Hey and welcome guys. Uh, today I'm going to be uh, redoing an older model. Uh, I did this model a year or so ago. Uh, this is Ravel's uh, New Order Special Forces TIE Fighter. I'm uh, pretty happy with how it came out. Um, it has some basic lighting in the uh, guns, the cockpit, and then the, uh, of course the engines were lit. Uh, but I've never really liked this uh, uh, New Order paint scheme, especially these uh, white solar panels they just uh i guess i just like the black and stuff and i saw someone i forgot who it was a long time ago uh paint one up in an imperial paint scheme and i thought it looked really good so uh, that's what i'm going to be doing uh, with this one i'm going to try to also remove it from this display base which i think it's it's okay but never really came out the way i wanted it uh, just putting on something simpler take one of these uh four inch pvc uh, pipe caps and just using that, of course, I'll have to sand off all the um, lettering and things of that nature. Uh, but I use these quite often as display bases. They're simple, uh, sturdy, and have plenty of room for your batteries and electronics. So I'll have to try to remove that. It shouldn't be too hard. I think I just use hot glue. So I'll just have to kind of melt that around there to get that out. Um, also, I found another uh, pilot from, uh, this was from the arc uh, fighter uh, from uh, I think Revenge of the Sith um, anyway I had uh, this model and that's actually there is a pilot in there and it's one of these repainted I found another one um, this ship actually has a rear seat facing backwards uh, for a gun and so I'm going to paint him up and he'll be sitting uh, in the back can't really notice a whole lot but I'll know he's there and I guess if you really look you'll be able to see him um, model's quite dusty, um, but I'm going to see what, how much I can take apart. I don't know if I glued these wings on or not. Uh, hopefully they'll pull off. That might make painting them a little bit easier. So I'm just going to do that gray and black uh, paint scheme and see how that comes out. All right, managed to get uh, it apart, uh, get it off the stand. Um, a little bit of issue getting that off there, but finally got it free. Uh, the wings popped off without too much uh, effort, so that'll make uh, painting it a bit easier. I'll just paint it all black and mask off the uh, sections here, and then go over with the gray color. The uh, top section, I managed to pop off the clear plastic. I'll have to tape off, mask off the front section, of course the engines, and this rear windshield here. So, I'm just going to get all that prepped up and uh, we'll get to painting. All right, as you can see, I have my black coat uh, over all my uh, parts of the ship. I have masked off my solar wings here. If you're wondering, I just used uh, this 3M Automotive Performance Masking Tape. Works uh, really well for large areas like this. I do tend to use, the, to me, a masking tape for finer details, but I've used it all here. Um, hopefully, I won't have any issues. We'll see once I get done painting. Now, since this is a bit of a, a non-canon ship, so to speak, or a non-canon paint job, uh, I think I'm going to try a uh, metallic color. And this is galvanized tin. And um, I've used these craft acrylics before. Uh, as long as you get them thinned down good enough, they will spray out of your airbrush and uh, go on very well. So uh, I'm going to try this color. Uh, you can see it's kind of a... Have this uh, you know, metallic color to it. Now I do plan on adding some dull coats, which will take away some of that metallic sheen, I guess you would say. And we'll see how that turns out. If I don't like it, I may go with a more traditional gray. But like I said, since I'm experimenting here, I thought I'd go with something a little bit different. And uh, so I'm going to get this paint job on, and we'll see how that turns out. All right, I put on a couple coats of this um, galvanized tin with my airbrush. I then put on a coat of this matte finish, uh, clear matte finish uh, from Rust-Oleum. 
So now I'm ready to pull off the masking and see how this turned out. pleased with how that came out. I think I'm kind of liking the galvanized metal. Again, I know it's not a, really a cannon paint job, but from here, um, really liking it. So I have a clear coat on here. Uh, we have the, uh, the body all painted up. It's still masked off, and I'm trying to decide where to go with the paint job next. I do want to do some uh, panel line accent color on uh, some of these panel lines kind of bring out the detail. And uh, so I'm going to work on the side one I'm going to do. I don't know if I want to do any further painting. Just kind of leave it that color. Um, but I kind of like that color. I think it uh, looks, looks cool. So we'll just uh, keep moving forward and see how this thing turns out. All right, we're here is our completed first order TIE Fighter repaint. Again, this is a non-cannon paint job. Just had some fun with it, uh, but overall, I'm, I'm very happy with it. I uh, like the uh, metallic uh, paint job that I gave it. I gave it some red accent colors uh, that you see throughout the uh, movie see, uh, trilogy. And uh, I added in uh, a few decals. These are homemade decals. Um, and nothing too uh, um, extravagant. Just some added detail. It does lack some detail. If I was redoing it, I'd probably try to add in some more panel lines just to give a little bit more um, uh, detail to the model. I did add in some, uh, if you can see here, some decals, some uh, like kill markers. I'm not sure what theirs are called, just to give it some visual interest. I had a few decals on the back. You can see our engine lighting here. I had a couple decals there. I did a Rust-Oleum matte clear coat to top it off, and then I removed all the masking tape off the uh, windscreens. I added in the uh, second uh, person to the TIE fighter in the back. He's hard to see, pretty much unnoticeable. You can't really see him unless you can kind of look up in there. You can't see him. And he's painted to match the other. Now I did lose a light uh, on one of our guns. I probably pulled the wire wiring and it probably disconnected from the little, I believe it was an SMD that was in there. And I probably disconnected that, uh, that or blue. I, I just don't know. So I did have a little bit of a loss there, uh, but it is what it is. There's no way to really break that apart and get to it that I can think of. So it just is what it is at this point. So anyway, guys, a uh, short video. Hope you've enjoyed it. I uh, enjoyed doing the repaint. I like the black uh, solar panels better than the white ones. And overall, I'm happy with the paint job. So until next time, everybody have a good one.